Good morning, Scott Davis from TechWise Group. It is April 22nd, 2020. Today is Take Your Kids to Work Day. If you're working from home like I am, your kids are already here with you. It's also Take a Chance Day, so you could take a chance by having them go out and do some yard work or just play outside, or take a chance by you trying to disappear. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is also German Beer Day, so sit back, enjoy that German beer uh, for German Beer Day. In the tech news, uh, the big thing I think is Zek Ops uh, found a zero-day execution flaw that affects iPhones and iPads since iOS 6. Um, this is through the built-in Apple Mail app. Successful exploitation of the vulnerability runs malicious code in the context of the mobile mail or mail ID app, allowing attackers to leak, modify, or even delete emails. It does appear to be patched in 13.4.5, which is currently in beta, so it's not available yet. But right now, the recommendation from the industry is, if possible, stop using the Apple Mail and switch to an application like Microsoft Outlook or the Google Mail app. A group of senators are asking DHS CISA to issue cyber threat guidance to the healthcare industry. Uh, if you've paid attention to any of my daily uh, videos, you know that the healthcare industry and really every industry out there is under attack. Uh, ransomware is up, phishing attacks are up. Uh, here in this case, it's led by Senator Blumenthal out of Connecticut and Warner in Virginia. But they're looking for pretty much the CISA just to issue some threat guidance on what you can do to try to better protect yourself. Also, TrustWave's 2020 Global Security Report just came out. It shows ransomware attacks quadrupled in 2019. This is from 2018 to 2019. So it's going to be extremely important to see what their uh, 2021 global security report looks like with everything going on right now with COVID and coronavirus. Today, I have a special guest with us, Susan Graham from Susan Graham Consulting. Uh, they're the premier IT recruiting firm in central Pennsylvania, and they have a new division specializing in engineering and construction. Susan, welcome. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm doing well yourself. Good. Fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So just a couple questions for you, if you don't mind. With over 1 million new temporary unemployed, are you seeing any new trends as people are out looking for jobs? The trends I'm seeing, which I find unusual, knowing how many people have lost their job in the past maybe four or five weeks, uh, it, would be how many people aren't right now looking for a new job. I think they're all under the um, understanding right now there aren't a lot of new jobs. Everything's on hold. So we're not being bombarded with resume submissions and phone calls. Uh, occasionally I get something saying, hey, I've been furloughed. Keep me in mind. I just think people are laying low. Life is not normal. So it's not unusual to see this being so different right now, but I think in the next four weeks, three to four weeks, we're going to see a huge increase in resume submissions and contact from uh, people in our network. And that I think that makes sense. Uh, and I think that leads right into the next question I had of, of the clients that you're working with. Have you seen hiring, you know, increase, decrease? Has it kind of stayed the same? It's significantly decreased. Uh, we have... On a typical day, we're probably working on 25 to 30 jobs in a good season. Right now, we might be working on four or five that are legitimate, ready to go, client ready to pull the trigger. So that is um, a, a huge change, and it is all related to this. I mean, people's projects are on hold. Hiring is on hold. They can't even bring people into the office for in-person interviews. So we are seeing a real uh, decrease in, um, in the amount of people who we're placing right now. What advice do you have or will you share uh, with people that are looking for work or even more so looking to change their career into what's been deemed now an essential job? Number one thing I would say is don't be discouraged because you never know what an employer is going to be looking for. You might have the one skill or the one, uh, don't think age is not in your favor. They might want somebody who's very experienced, so age would work in your favor. So don't ever assume you're not going to be rehired once this crisis is over. I'm very optimistic that hiring is going to go up again, and like I said, in the next three to four weeks. 
Um, it's funny, the word essential, what, what, what's essential? It's something that's absolutely necessary. I'm still working. How am I more essential than a dentist? You know, that, that just is something I'm kind of having a hard time wrapping my head around places or people, industries that you wouldn't think were essential or deemed non-essential. And I think uh, you have to remember we're all essential. We just may not all be needed right now. Uh, but don't don't think of yourselves as more important because you're working compared to somebody who isn't working. How have you seen the interview process change through all of this? There aren't any. <laughs> um, very few interviews going on. All are done during a video chat like this one. Uh, I think Zoom, which may not have been in our vocabulary two months ago, is now something we find part of our everyday life. My clients who are interviewing are doing it via video. Obviously, nobody's going on site. Everybody's working from home, so there aren't even offices to go to for the mm -hmm. interview. So it's very different. Um, but again, I think from what I can understand, my clients are saying in the next three to four weeks, we'll bring so-and-so in to meet the team. I'm sure it will be a very different kind of interview, probably around a very big conference table with well-spaced out chairs. <laughs> How has the uh, Susan Graham consulting team been through all this? The best news about that is we're all used to working from home. All of my team works from home anyway. The difference being now they have their kids there 24 seven. So they've had their challenges with, with kids and um, most of the children are, are young enough that they are still in school. So they need to be uh, helped during the supervised homeschooling, even though it's uh, the teachers are teaching them online, the parents have to set up the Zoom session or make sure the uh, work course load is downloaded and printed out. So uh, to think you can just send your kids in the other room with an iPad and say, go, go keep this for the next hour, that's not happening. But I think, uh, again, everybody, this new normal is, everybody's so compassionate that uh, just never, it, it's not the same as it was before. I have an interesting little tidbit. I, I had to cancel a reservation with Hilton Hotel. And while I was on hold with Hilton, the voicemail or the voice uh, recording while I was on hold said, um, be aware that many of our associates are currently working from home. So you may hear a child or pet in the background. And I just thought that was so uh, perfect, amazing. It made Hilton sound like, you know, the, a, a small little company, and yet look how billion, billion dollar worldwide chain, and yet they, those people are as human as you and I are. They know, uh, and they're preparing people that they might hear barking or kids saying, Mommy, I need you, and it's just the way it is. Everybody needs to have a little more patience, a little more compassion. No, you're absolutely right, and I, I'd say throughout the day, uh, both of our cats and my dog joins me at least once. Uh, yeah. if not fighting for position over, you know, who's in the office with me. So uh, it, it's you. very real. Uh, thankfully, my dog uh, uh, it doesn't bark, uh, so he's very well behaved, but uh, I can I hear it on many phone calls. Um, <laughs> the last question I have for you is how can people reach out to you? Anybody can send me their resume or send us a resume. I'll send it to one of my team members. Uh, it, our website is... Susan G Consulting.com or our phone number is 717-533-4470. And we have the phone program to send the messages right to our, our cell phones at home. Uh, so please submit your resume or give us a call and we'll do anything we can to help you find that next job because they are going to be coming up. The state's fiscal year ends June 30th. So lots of new projects are coming up. And we are spending our time right now building our network. So when those jobs do open, we just are going to pull the trigger and be ready to go. Awesome. Well, Susan, thank you for joining me today. Um, and uh, have yourself a great rest of the day here on Thursday. Thanks, Scott. It's nice talking to you. Pleasure.